this is not food it's body wash <laughs> this is my third baby i'm more than likely hopefully not gonna be there too long these are ginormous like <laughs> these are really nice neutral colors for a photo remember your bag is packed for you and your baby hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well welcome to a, another video and this i must say is a very highly requested video i think from like the moment i announced my pregnancy everyone was like please can you do a what's in my hospital bag video i'm now 38 weeks and here it is guys <laughs> I am a very last minute person and not only that, we've also been in lockdown and literally everything is sold out so it's so hard to get the essentials that you need. Things like even toiletries, knickers, like honestly I have many stories to tell you but I'll include them in this video. Go and get your pen and your paper, sit down, write a list, hopefully this will help you. I must admit I didn't actually watch any hospital bag videos myself and I don't really know why. I actually just went onto Pinterest and got some lists but this is my third baby. Um, so compared to my first bag when I first went to hospital this is so different and I also work in maternity so I kind of know what my hospital already has and what I do need to bring and what I don't need to bring. I hope you enjoy the video if you're new around here don't forget to hit subscribe and yeah let's get on with the video. Please bear with me guys because I've had low iron so I'm so out of breath. My temperature is so high because I'm just pregnant and hot. So um, please bear with me if I do get out of breath. But I am 38 weeks pregnant now and um, we come to the end guys. <laughs> So the first thing that I wanted to show you is my hospital bag. Now lots of different people will take mini suitcases, a couple of bags, but I just like to take the one holder. So the bag that I picked up is this one. This is from eBay. I will link it down below. Anything that I can, I'll link down below in the description. But this bag, I was just kind of getting to the end of my baby list and thinking I still don't have a hospital bag. I couldn't get to Primark, which is where I normally would go. So I grabbed this one off ebay and i'm so glad i did because i could probably use this for like the gym i don't even know why i'm mentioning the gym because who knows if i'll go there when i have three kids this is really good for like swimming and all sorts of things like that this is a dupe i think for a well-known brand um, and this was only 9 99 so um, they do it in grey and black and I went with the grey because I thought I always wear a lot of black so I really loved this one and you get your two straps and then you also get a handle here it is a really nice size but like I said I do pack light so if you're a heavy packer this bag might not be for you so let's see what's inside the first thing actually which isn't inside but I will be taken with me is my hospital notes because I keep these out because I've got a few more midwife appointments and um, I just pop them next to the bag so I know that they're there and I won't forget them. So I kind of have in my bag like a baby section to one side and then the other side I have as my section. So I'll probably go through the baby bits first. I really don't want to take all this out now because I've put it all in and it looks so neat. And you know when you're like at the end of pregnancy and you're nesting and you think... I just don't want to go in there that is me today but this is my own fault because i've left it so long to film this video so the first thing obviously that we are going to need are some nappies i think with nappies this is a really hard one to know how many to take um because you don't know how long you're going to be there you can also get those little packs like in aldi or the pampers ones or i think most brands do them but they're like a smaller pack of the first size 
and I normally just take one of them but I've actually just took the nappies out and placed them in the bag and to go with the nappies I have some biodegradable baby wipes these ones are 98% water and they are plastic free wipes free from alcohol and they are biodegradable so I got these from Boots but they also do these in Aldi and of course you can get like the water wipes brand I know a lot of people are unsure about whether to take wipes or cotton wool but these for me fit perfectly in my bag they are 98% water so there's no reason why I shouldn't use them and my hospital actually do have cotton wool and water so I have all options really but these are just better to pack in my bag instead of like a massive bag of cotton wool so I went with them next up I have packed three muslins I actually did have these in the packet but then I've took everything out to wash it so I went with these kind of colours so we've got a light grey, a dark grey and a white because I'll be using these for feeding but I also thought I would use these for a photo because I can wrap baby up in these and they just keep them all snug and really cosy and these are really nice neutral colours for a photo I also popped in some little vests these are the short sleeved ones and I put in three because I just thought this is my third baby I'm more than likely hopefully not going to be there too long so I've picked three little white vests and I've also picked three little sleep suits so I have three of like my favourite ones the one that you always want them to be in first I also have one that they may come home in because depending on what time you have the baby if I have him at night and come home in the day I've got a little cute outfit for him but if I come home at night I want to put him in a nice little sleep suit so he can just go straight to bed. So the ones that I've chosen this is a little Peter Rabbit um, gorgeous sleep suit this is from Mother Care my dad actually bought this for him and it's just so like gorgeous i love babies in white so i've got this one i then found this little one from next this says born in 2020 and it has the really adorable little elephants on the front and if you've watched my channel before you will know that i've got quite a few elephant like themed things in his nursery and I just absolutely loved that one. And then I just went with a plain grey one in case he has any like accidents or anything like that. Because you know what babies are like. Yeah, they are my three sleep suits and my three vests. And I think that is more than enough really. If anything, I've probably got too much. And I know some people are probably going to be like, you need way more. But remember, your bag is packed for you and your baby and everyone is different so the last bits that I have in my bag so this is the little outfit this is so adorable I absolutely love this little knitted number and I thought to myself I can't remember where this is from actually let me have a look I think this is from Sainsbury's and it came with a little vest underneath but I thought I could put one of the white vests with the short sleeves underneath it and if it's really hot he can just wear it like this or if it's like a rainy day then we also have this little all-in-one which is so adorable and I can just pop this over him and it also has the little hood with the ears so I absolutely love that my dad got this one for me as well when we got the sleep suit from mother care and I also have a pair of socks here to go with the outfit and some little booties I've decided not to put a hat in because you actually get a hat at the hospital and it's not like cold, it's summer now. But when he does go home, if it's during the day, he's not going to need a hat and at night time I'll just pop that hood up and he'll be in his car seat all snug so it's fine. I think that's everything I have for baby. I've decided not to take a dummy because... I personally think they don't really need one at that stage. I've never given like my one day old newborn a dummy. I normally give them if I do later on like maybe a week or so. So yeah I didn't want to pack one because I just think it would be unnecessary and I really want to get my breastfeeding established so I don't want to like confuse it with dummies. So that's why I haven't packed one of them. And then on to my bit. So I have some pyjamas here. I went with dark long 
legged long legged i went with like trouser legging type um bottoms maybe have a lot of leakage i'm not sure um forgot what it's even like to have a period to be honest and then i have just a t-shirt and i really did want to get a shirt with buttons so i could um use it with breastfeeding but i couldn't get like the bottoms that were dark to go with it so i just went with them two these are from asda and then i also have some pads in here i've just got one pack of maternity pads because i know that they also have them at my hospital i also have a five pack of the big ginormous huge knickers these are full briefs um i had such a laugh when i bought these and actually opened them up i'm gonna show you because if you don't follow me on instagram you wouldn't have seen my reaction but i was looking for some knickers just your average like knickers well to me they're average and um everyone was like yeah go for the full briefs so i ordered the full briefs and they came and i was just like these are ginormous like <laughs> so i don't know anything about knicker types so please don't follow me but apparently these ones are going to be good because you don't know what's going to happen in hospital as well a lot of the c-section mums said these were really good and to be honest they pull your tummy in as well apparently so um i think they're going to be comfortable and that's the main thing isn't it but a lot of people are saying that they actually wear these all the time now so we'll see if i'm converted if you see me doing primark hauls with my big knickers later on in the year you'll know why these ones were from asda and they were five pound fifty i also have a sports bra in here these are the ones that i get from primark you get three in a pack i have a white one here but these are actually too small for me now because i got these like probably about four months ago and obviously primark isn't open anymore and i did go on h&m but their deliveries are taken like forever so it's kind of really hard to get anything at the moment so i've just packed this one and obviously i'll be wearing one when i go so um i'll just have to hope for the best with that i'll obviously be going in an outfit well whatever i'm wearing at the time or whatever i wake up and go in but I want to come home in just some leggings I've got. These are just my Primark leggings in a size small. Because these are what fit me now. So I'm guessing they're going to fit me after baby. And something I also need to pop in this bag is a white t-shirt just to go with these just to come home in. I don't need a fancy outfit. I just need something that's easy for me. So yeah, leggings and a t-shirt, you can't go wrong. Just realised I still don't have any slippers. Another thing that is also hard to get hold of, I did find some on Sainsbury's but my size were sold out. Primark is my usual go-to but they're closed so um yeah i don't have any but i do have some old ones so i can just quickly pop them in and i also have my birkenstock sandals which i absolutely love and wear all the time so i could also put them in because they're like that plasticky material ones and they are wipeable so they're probably better than slippers to be honest because if you get like blood and stuff on them um at least you know you can clean them something else that i've got in my hospital bag is a water bottle I know that they provide you with like a jug and a glass but I just find having a water bottle I'll be able to use this through labour but also it will make me drink more because I always drink more from a bottle so I really wanted to pack a water bottle this time because I haven't had one the last couple of times. I make it sound like I've been there many a times <laughs> but I have because I work there but um yeah i've only birthed her twice so next i am moving on to my toiletry bag and this i actually did pick up from primark um just before it closed because i thought i love the color and that would be so nice for the hospital it's also waterproof so it's just absolutely lovely i'll show you what i have in here and then i'm going to go through my list of bits that i'm still yet to pick up and i also have a list for my last minute bits which is the bits I will grab just before I leave as well. So first up, I have a couple of um, items that I want to decant into like your little travel bottles, but 
there in the loft and I'm obviously not allowed to go up there. Will will absolutely kill me if he sees me going in there. Um, so I might have him to get them down so I can pop these bits in them. So the first thing that I ordered was this Soap and Glory Refreshing Body Wash. This is from Boots. It was in the sale for £4. But I just really love to have a nice shower gel for after birth. I just think it's such a nice treat and these ones smell absolutely amazing. So this one is the Bubble in Paradise and it is a juicy mango and mandarin extract and it just smells so amazing. Oh. And I said to Will, like, I could literally eat this. And on the side here, it says, this is not food, it's body wash. <laughs> so I'm going to decant some of this, because this is a 500ml bottle, so it's actually quite big and heavy, and I don't want to, like, weigh my bag down any more than I need to. So I'm going to pop some of that in and take that. I also have my Palmer's Cocoa Butter moisturizer this is the one i've used throughout my whole pregnancy and again i'll be decanting some of this just to pop in my bag to take as well because i don't need the whole thing but i really love to have a moisturizer on after the shower because i hate dry skin it's just the worst and on one of them people if i do not moisturize after a shower it gets so itchy and it honestly just drives me mad so i have to have a good moisturizer i also have a deodorant um will actually got me most of this stuff in here and this is actually the second deodorant that he got me um the other one made me itch and trying to describe your list to your partner who never goes shopping and really doesn't know what you normally use is difficult so we did facetime but home bargains didn't have no signal and this is the one that he came back with but i think this is going to be fine to be honest this is with aloe vera and rose water so this is the limited edition refreshing summer ritual and he got that from home bargains i also have a dry shampoo in here i don't take shampoo and conditioner um i've been trying to make sure i'm keeping on top of like washing my hair at home so just in case i do go in that my hair will be freshly washed i also have a new toothbrush that will pick me up and some toothpaste and then i also wanted to make sure that i just take like a mini type of skincare because i've really been keeping on top of it lately and it's made such a difference so i've been using these primark face cloths i absolutely love these and you get three in a pack so i've packed one of them because they're really good for taking your makeup off and also you can use them with your cleanser and stuff so i've got one of them last month i picked up the ordinary skincare set and in there you get a cleanser and a moisturiser and you get another product as well. But I've kept the ends of these ones because these are like mini ones. So I can pop them in my bag and take them with me. And I just think like I probably won't take my makeup. I'll probably just take a couple of little bits. Um, so I'd really like to have a nice, fresh, clean, moisturised face. I also have some makeup wipes just in case. I actually don't use makeup wipes anymore, but I never know. I might need them to get my mascara off or I could have been a full face of makeup and gone into labour in the day and just like completely sweated foundation and mascara everywhere. So I may need them. I also popped in some cotton buds and a hairband. You just never know when you're going to need these things. And you'll definitely need a hairband. So I've got that. And then I also have some breast pads. Because I'll definitely be needing these as well. I actually haven't packed too many. Because I think from what I remember. I probably used like four a day. And then obviously your night ones. So I don't want to pack like a whole box. So I just grabbed a handful. And then I also have popped in some spare contact lenses. Because I actually wear contact lenses all the time. And without them I honestly can't see anything. And I thought I might not remember to grab my glasses. So at least if I have a spare pot. And they both have a contact lens in each. Um, I'll be prepared. I need to be able to see my baby. <laughs> So that is everything that I have in my toiletries bag. And then my list on my phone. So let me see if there's any other bits that I actually need to pop in here. 
So the last bits to pop in is the white t-shirt, which I have still yet to put in. Some sliders or my slippers, a lip balm. I really need to remember to get a lip balm because that is honestly essential. And then the last minute list that I have. So the bits that I'll grab just before I leave will be my phone charger, a hairbrush because I only have one of them so I can't pop that in now, um, a few little makeup bits so that'll probably be like an eyebrow pencil, maybe a concealer, mascara, there'll only be a couple of little bits um, just for like when I come home and my notes which I've already shown and they are always by my bag as well. So yeah that is what is in my hospital bag. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If there's anything like crucial literally that you think I've forgot please do put it in the comments down below. Um, I also don't need to pack a towel because they have plenty of towels there and someone else did mention to me a fan but they also have them there i haven't actually used a fan the last two times i've been so i don't feel like i'll need one of them and i'll probably grab some food bits even though i don't really take them i didn't take them last time the first time i took a whole bag of like food and didn't use any of it the second time i didn't take any but now because we're in lockdown i may just take a few little bits because Will won't be able to go in and out. So I need to make sure we've at least got some bits to just be prepared. And the car seat and his blanket are already in the car and ready to go. So yeah, that is everything. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.